Hey guys, Jake here, and today I've got my week number 11 match of the CPC. This week we are going up against Rise Pool. He's the coach of the Rhine Valley Guardians, and uh, he's a really good player. Um, we faced off earlier in the season, and we were able to pick up a very narrow 2-0 victory. Uh, it really came down to a 50-50, and um, it was really fun. Um, also, a bit haxy, but... Um, we, we both made a lot of free agents um, since then, so definitely needed to build a lot differently this time around. Um, Rispool's got a really threatening team. It seems seems really fun, honestly. It seems like something I'd want to use, but um, the matchups are weird. Um, basically, I, in my opinion, we both have really strong offensive matchups against each other. But it, it was, I think it's hard for both of us to really build like a balanced team. I think we were both kind of forced to bring more offensive teams to this game. So yeah, I definitely kept that in mind during my building. I didn't really expect him to bring that bad of a team. Um, also we had um, like stuff like, uh, here I'll actually read out his team right now. His team is Clefable, Latios, Thunderous Eye, Metagross, Roserade, Sneasel, Porygon 2, Pyloswine, and Mega hair cross. So right off the bat, there's a lot of stuff I was really happy to not see. Um, I was really happy to not see the Mega hair cross because I knew if we brought the Mega hair cross, I it would be, it was it's so hard for me to switch into. Like even though I do have a Zapdos, it's a pretty easy prediction because you can just go for Rock Blast and like, um, I feel like that's a very possible prediction for him to make because uh, last game I didn't actually show that I was a speedy Zapdos with HP flying, so I figured he might consider that. Um, I was also pretty happy he didn't bring the Roserade because uh, I don't think I had to fog, fog on this team. Maybe I did on Zapdos, I don't remember actually, but um, basically uh, I'm glad that we don't have to deal with spikes or toxic spikes. Uh, also like Life Orb Roserade, I didn't have the best switchings to um, like Life Orb Shadow Ball hits my Bronze Song pretty hard. It can run Pin Missile to hit my Hoopa hard. So yeah, uh, Roserade was something that I was glad to not see, and he also didn't bring the Piloswine. A Piloswine was a huge issue for me in the first game. This time I definitely prepped a lot better for it, but uh, he didn't bring it, but that's fine. Um, also, he did not... Wait, I think I got everything, yeah? So yeah, he didn't bring those those three mods, which I'm fine with, but he still brought some threats. He has a Latios, which uh, I have a few sets made to uh, deal with the Latios and so um, yeah Latios shouldn't be that big of an issue I can revenge it with my Sinchino and um, like my Azu can Oko it my Bronzong can like take Ludo from Shadow Ball and set up screens but um yeah he's also got the Sneasel. Sneasel's pretty scary actually because uh, it outspeeds my whole team barring Shinshino which speed ties with and its stabs are pretty good versus me. You can pursue trap my Hoopa. Um, Blaziken kind of walls it, but Blaziken um, can get chipped easily. Um, also, uh, Azu can ch check it pretty well, but like, Life Orb Poison Jab does a lot. I think um, even Banded Poison Jab is a chance to kill after rocks. So yeah, that's definitely something I need to watch out for. He's also got Thunderous. Um, I'm not really sure what Thunderous he bring this game. But it's still really scary. Uh, I, I I actually expected nasty plot. I don't I didn't think he'd bring you turn thunders for my hoopa because he has four moonslots in German. He wants thunderbolt for general stat. He wants HP I to hit my guard chomp. He also wants psychic or like Z fly to hit my Venusaur, and so that leaves him with either nasty plot or like U turn or like knockoff or something. I don't really expect knockoff. Or Thunder Wave, but yeah. I thought the most the, the most probable option out of those moves was Nasty Plot because it helps him beat Zapdos. It helps him very clean capitalize on Venusaur. I felt like it was the best set this uh, game for him to bring, so that's what I prepped for the most. He's also got the Porygon 2. Porygon 2 is pretty scary on um, this game because uh, I don't really have great ways of breaking it. If if I if my Blaziken goes down, I really don't have a great way to break it. My only hope is really like knocking it off my Azu or toxing it with my Zapdos. But he could like be like a heal Belka Fable. So yeah, he's also got the Metagross. Uh, I was a bit I was a bit disappointed to see Metagross because it meant that Sinchino would do a bit less work this game. 
but it's quite all right. Um, cause uh, uh, Metagross, I do have decent checks to it. Bronzong walls that zap those can check it pretty well and get some nice trip with Bullet Switch. Boopa and Blaze can can threaten it out. So yeah, and then he's also got the Clefable. Clefable is a really threatening mod to my team. Um, it's pretty hard for me to break. I did throw Iron Tail on my Azumarill as, as a see you later to help, so, so I can do a KO of it. But yeah, um, he uh, he brought Cosmic Power Clef last time, and if he like sets up really with it, he'll be a bit scared. Cause honestly, it's probably best for Cosmic Power Clefable. But uh, yeah, let me talk about my team. So the first mod I put on the team was. Uh, a life orb agility plays can this mod is so good against this team it's it's dual stabs and and uh, knockoff is all i need to just really hurt his team knockoff oko's Eladios, if he has some polar berry um high jump kick oko's pouring on two after rocks flare blitz oko's metagross flare blitz oko's thunderous and um sneasel flare blitz uh two it ko's fable it, it's just really solid this game um, I can set up by threatening stuff out like like Sneasel and Metagross and I can agility on the switch and then potentially just win on the spot if his team is shipped enough. Um, I've also got my uh, choice Bandit Sinchino again. I've been bringing Sinchino a lot recently. But um, yeah, Bandit Sinchino is really nice because it's it outspeeds the majority of his team except for Sneasel which I speed tie with. But uh, his only normal resist is um, Metagross which I can either predict predict and go for knockoff or just make the middle ground plane go for u-turn but um yeah it, ioko latios ioko thunder is i i do a ton to fable i do a ko it i can knock off for you on two if, if i must um yeah just knock off is a really good really good move this game because he actually has two of ioi users and um specifically uh ios one and then Porygon two and he's also got the metagross which i'd like to knock off Next mod I've got is a uh, speedy, especially defensive Zapdos again. Uh, got HP flying, Roos, uh, Volt Switch, and Toxic. Toxic because I wanted to Toxic stuff like Porygon 2. I wanted Toxic Pylosvon. Didn't want my Zapdos to be completely walled by Pylosvon, and I felt like Toxic was a good way to really put it on the timer. Um, I'm, I'm, I wanted as much special bulk as possible to help me take it from Thunderous and Roserade, so I'm I'm, I'm playing it a little risky. I'm not speed creeping max speed uh, Roserade. I'm, I'm just uh, creeping my uh, Hoopa by a few points. I hit like 288, I think. So, uh, yeah, next mod I've got is an Aviasu. This mod is to help with Latios because Latios is pretty scary. I can also take a hit from Thunderous if you need be. This thing's priority is nice late game. Um, I, I can, like, if. Uh, I can, I can do a ton to Sneasel, I can knock off Porygon 2, it helps me with Pylosvine. Got, I've got Iron Tail to it so I can break the Fable. Yeah, this mod's just really solid this game. Um, uh, next mod I've got is a uh, specially defensive Bronze Zone. Um, this mod actually has no attacks, it's dual screens with Light Clay, Toxic, and Rocks. Uh, I, on high side I probably should have had Gyro Ball, but um... Uh, this is the only rock sitter I brought, and I really wanted rocks to help me with Thunderous, because I wanted Thunderous in range of a lot of my attacks as soon as possible. Um, more specifically, like, I was just playing up and, uh, Oop, this is, uh, Psychic, but, um, yeah. Uh, next mod I've got is, uh, Solfest Hoopa. This mod is pretty much my only Thunderous switch in. Uh, I don't, uh, as I said, I don't think he'll be going to turn, but he very well could. Um, this mod can take it, take it from Latios pretty well. Also threaten out Metagross. Uh, Sneasel can pursue driving, which is pretty annoying, but um, it's honestly fine. Uh, I've got Gug Shot to break left, and I've also got a Focus Blast to uh, do a ton to Porygon 2, and um, Pilot Sign, assuming that hit. So, uh, yeah, let's get straight into the game. Um, I decided to leave my Zapdos because uh, it's an overall really solid lead this game. Uh, he doesn't have that much to threaten me. I don't expect him to lead off with Sneasel. And, um, yeah, he leads off with his Metagross. So, I can do- this is great. I can just Volt Switch on out of here. He doesn't have an immunity. Um, and I really want to ship this thing as much as I can late game for my Sinchino. So, yeah, I just go for the Volt Switch. And, um, 
uh, yeah, and he goes hard into his Porygon too, and um, that damage reveals he's definitely not especially defensive Porygon too, which is something I have to keep in mind. Um, I, at this moment in time, I thought he was a max, max, like max, max HP, max defense Porygon too. Um, judging by that damage, so. Uh, yeah, uh, that stuck with me, because I did see that in the mock, and, uh, it's actually so bulky. Like, um, if he is max max, um, Porygon 2, it takes 77% min from a Life Orb Blaziken side jump kick, which is pretty insane. But, um, still my play, in, my play is to go into Blaziken, because, uh, I can threaten this thing out. He, even, he don't, he doesn't want to take a Life Orb high jump kick, because, uh, he, he can't Oko me. Uh... So yeah, I'm I'm just, I'm not gonna predict. I'm just gonna click high jump kick here. I don't think he'll go hard audios. So um, yeah, uh, I click high jump kick as he goes into his Fable and that does his fun. Now um, he's not quite right in the range of um, life or player blitz because uh, that damage does reveal he's pretty physically defensive Fable. So uh, what I'm gonna do in this turn is I'm gonna go hard into my Azu. Almost all fest they take very little for moon boss. And I can just spam Iron Tail. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Here I go into my Zoom roll as uh, he just gets up his rocks. Um, so, uh, yeah, here I'm in with my Zoom roll versus Clefable. And I was thinking he probably should be fearing that I'm either Choice Bandage a Zoom roll or that I'm Belly Drum. Which meant I really don't think he's going to stay in this turn. Because uh, I, I, th I feel like his play is to go into Metagross. So, what I'm gonna do in this turn is I'm gonna click knockoff, but, um, as you're gonna see, he, he does go, he does outspeed me and, um, go for the moon blast. So, uh, yeah, I knock off his Caribbean Berry. I did kind of expect him to be Caribbean Berry this game. Like, um, so, yeah. Uh, so now I'm just gonna click Iron Tail. I'm not gonna predict. I'm, I'm, now I'm, it's fine if he goes into Metagross, because I do have a good switch into my. That does. I'm just gonna spam Iron Tail as long as this Clefable is on, on the field versus my Azu. So I click uh, Iron Tail as he softballs, and thankfully we do hit. So, um, yeah, and the Clefable outspeeds me again. So I did run a lot of speed in my Azu to try and outspeed this Clef, but, um, yeah, actually, I'm gonna go for Iron Tail in this turn, and as you're gonna see, we actually speed tied, and I knock out this Clefable with Iron Tail. So that's pretty big. Um, because now the Fable is gone, um, he can't, um, this is really good for me, especially for my Blaziken, but, um, yeah, it sucks for him that, uh, he didn't know it was a speed tie, because he definitely would have switched out, he won, he won the first two speed ties, but, uh, yeah, he would have been able to preserve his, uh, Fable and maybe got into Metagross, but, um, I, I probably would have played that differently if I did win one of those speed ties. Because I figured you probably wouldn't want to risk it. Like, like um, if he won the speed tie right here on uh, turn 4. When, um, like, uh, if he won the speed tie right here on turn 4. When uh, he moon as I knock off. I, I would have played, like, the next few turns differently. But yeah, it does suck. So, now, when he, after he brings on his Thunderous, I'm going to go hard into my Hoopa. It is my best switch in Thunderous. But, uh, as you're going to see, he's going to go for the Gigavolt Havoc. Um, no, that damage does reveal that is Z Thunderbolt, not Z Wild Charge. The Z Wild Charge, my Hoopa would have just got one shot, but, um, yeah. I can live another hit, because he's not a boosting item. I can do a ton of damage with a Hyperspace Fury. I did consider Focus Blasting on this turn, because I didn't think he'd want to stay in with a Slenderous, and I figured Porygon 2 might be a switch in, because he is max max. Um, and I can 2 a KO that thing. But, uh, he's actually going to go hard into his Sneasel on this turn, which was pretty bold, because I definitely could have focused Blast there, trying to get the Porygon too. But, um, yeah, now I kind of just have to sack off my Hoopa, which is pretty unfortunate. The Thunderous is really threatening right now. I do have my Sanchino to revenge it, but, um, yeah, I definitely, it's going to be pretty hard to deal with. My Hoopa does get trapped, and I don't see Life Orb, so I'm going to assume this, uh, thing is banded. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna assume this thing is banded, and um, if if he is, then he's locked into pursuit, which means he can't touch my Azu. 
And if he's not banded, he can't kill me with poison jab. If he's not life orb. So on this turn, I'm going to click off, click a knockoff. It's uh, it's in my favor to kill a Sneasel. Anything else doesn't really appreciate losing an item. I, I didn't really expect him to go hard thunders because the chances I go for play rip on this turn are pretty high. Um, and like play rip plus aqua jet will knock out thunders. So I click knockoff as he goes hard into his Porygon too. And um, yeah, here's, here's, this is a mistake I made in prep. Uh, I should have just gave my Azumarill four more special defense EVs. Like, even though I'm a solid vest, my Azumarill has the same amount of base defense as Spideff, which meant it's random for him to get the special attack boost or the attack boost from download. But, um, yeah, he's gonna get special attack boost, but as you're gonna see, it's not really mattering. Um, this damage actually reveals he doesn't have um any de much if at all defense investment on his Porygon 2 and he's probably not bold which makes me to believe it's definitely an offensive Porygon 2 which I'm quite fine with if he's offensive and because I knocked off the CV of light he's in range of um uh play rough on this turn and he can't kill me with uh try attack plus thunderbolt or er, thunderbolt and uh man I can definitely kill him so I'm just going to click play rough as he actually goes for the shadow ball trying to predict my bronze song. I eat that up and uh, I go for the play rough and kill the Porygon too. Now here he goes on to Thunderous again. Uh, here I actually probably misplay, but um, I'm just, I just go for Aqua Jet on this turn to get damage onto the Thunderous. But uh, as um, he's going to kill me with Thunderbolt. So uh, maybe I should have just went for play rough on that turn so he didn't get free set up. But uh, it's fine. Now uh, here I go into my Simchino. Uh, you should know that I outspeed this, and he does have a really good switch into this in Metagross. He should know I can't really afford to knock off on this turn. Uh, so I'm actually going to make a pretty aggressive play on this turn. I'm going to U-turn expecting his Metagross to come in, because, um, uh, he, he, he like, it's, it, he, he should know I'm, I'm, like, I'm not gonna go for knockoff in this turn, so Metagross should be a really safe turn. Like, he is Z move, so knockoff won't kill him. So, I'm gonna go for U turn as he goes into, um, his Metagross. As, uh, that damage just for Philly is pretty bulky, but, um, I can definitely kill him with Life Orb Flare Blitz with Blaziken. Now, here, I know he has to switch out. Um, boy, everything is in range of Life Orb Blaziken at, at this point in time. So, my play is to agility here, because I know he can't, he has to keep this Metagross, or else Bandit Cinchino just clicks Tail Slap versus the rest of his team, and just cleans up. Like, he has to rely on Sneeze to get winning his speed tie, and I know that, uh, I like, that's not his play, so, I'm gonna go for the agility on this turn, as he goes into Sneeze sacking it off, which is great. Um, so, uh, yeah, here on this turn, I was kind of debating what to do. I didn't want to click Flare Blitz to take the recoil. I also didn't really want to click um, I Jump Kick because of the Mistrance. And Knock Off is a roll. It does like 41 to 50. And that's assuming he doesn't have HP investment. So I'm actually going to take the risk and go for the High Jump Kick. And thankfully we do hit. So, uh, yeah, here it goes down to his Latios. As, um, here, uh, I go for the Knock Off. FC just pivot down to his Thunders, and that does a ton. So here I can just quick knock off again, and something's gonna die. As, uh, yeah, he does sack off his Thunders. Now, um, he goes down to his Audios. I click knock off, as, uh, he's actually Flame Orb. And so I know the set for my good friend Ace of Base has, um, really made this set, I wouldn't say popular, but like, he's run it before, and, uh, he likes to tell people about it. It's Dragon Dance, Psycho Shift. Roost and Facade. Um, as soon as I saw that Flame Lord pop, I would have known in the set 100%. So, um, here he goes out to Metagross. I click Flare Blitz as uh, I die to uh, Flare Blitz plus Life Orb Recoil. Um, basically, Rise Wolf said he, he choked by um, not going to um, Metagross first and then going Lottie, but I actually would have had another turn. I would have had another Life Orb hit left, so I wouldn't be able to outspeed the Noko Gladios. But basically, um, let me talk about the Latios situation. He says he could have won with Latios early on, but I honestly disagree, because I would have definitely played knowing that. Um, basically, my Bronzong kind of shuts that down, here, and here's why. Because 
because my Bronzong, uh, because I, 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 I did say I wanted to, um, alright, sorry for that, quick guys, but basically what I was saying is that, um, I, I would, so, basically, I would have known, once the flame art popped, that he was Psycho Shift Audius, so, I would have gone hard, um, I would have basically sacked something off, probably, my Blitz King, if I still had, like, my who if, if it was early game enough, I would have stacked off my Hoopa, most likely. And then I would have gotten to my Bronze on. Basically, he's forced to cycle shift, because his only move to hit me is Facade. And he doesn't know if I, he doesn't know I don't have Gyro Ball, so he wants to weaken the damage I do to him. And, and as as he cycle shifts, I would have went for Toxic. Now, now that he's Toxic, basically, he's on a timer. And uh, I can just reflect up and, like, go out into my Zapdos, roost up, he can't. As, as long as it reflects up, he can't break my Zapdos, and I can just go for HP Ice and keep roosting up. Um, and yeah, the toxic damage would rack up, and he'd eventually have to switch unless he wants the, his Latios to die. So, yeah, um... I really don't think it mattered that, like, I, I don't think him stacking Metagross and then going into Latios mattered that much. But, uh, yeah, anyways, GD to Rest, well, that was a really fun game. Um, I feel like I played pretty, played pretty well that game, so I'm pretty proud. Um, now we're actually 11-0, and we're one game away from going undefeated in the regular season. We play, uh, AIM next week in the regular season finale, and that's gonna be fun, so... Um... Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to that. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.